We're Max and Oksana, an ordinary couple on an extraordinary half-lap adventure around Australia. This week, we set off on one of Australia's most famous off-road adventures, the Gip River Road. The road is rough, but there's no shortage of things to do along the way. Remote camping, hikes, kayaking, and much more. And some activities are definitely a step outside of our comfort zone. And we go. So it's kind of creepy. I don't want to go swimming with crocodiles. Good morning. This is an exciting morning because today we are officially starting our adventure along the Gibb River Road. This is the trip we've been preparing for, this is why we got the troopy and it is going to be a really fun one or two week trip, we really don't know yet. So first off, uh, we're in Derby so that's where we start off the trip and the first thing to check out in Derby uh, before we buy some groceries and stock up is the Baobab prison tree. So you can see it right here. This used to be a tree where they used to keep Aboriginal people who were stealing cattle or probably just doing stuff peacefully, but the white men didn't like them. So this used to be a prison where they used to throw them inside that hole and keep them overnight while they were marching from one area to the other. Definitely one of the biggest baobab trees I've ever seen. And I've been to Madagascar, but they don't typically look like this. Okay, it is official. We are at the start of the Gibber River Road. There's a little information um, center here. Uh, just a bit of info about the road and just lots of reminders about being prepared. This is 600, maybe 700 kilometers of corrugated, unsealed roads with lots of river crossings, turnoffs, detours. So we are super excited to take that head on. First stop today is Winjana Gorge. So we're gonna hit the road and get going. Time to go on our first trek. I'm speaking very fast because we have to get going very fast because this is a four hour hike and it is now three o'clock and we only have two and a half hours before we can back to camp. So let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is a chillier morning today on the Gil River Road. The sun had a bit of trouble coming out from, this, from the clouds, but it is in full force out now. So um, we've had a quick breakfast and then driven about 30 kilometers to Tunnel Creek National Park, um, which is uh, another park that we can visit in this area. Max is just setting up our solar panel to take advantage of the sun. And we're gonna get ready to go and explore Tunnel Creek. So the thing to do here is to go through a tunnel or a cave and go check out the other side of this gorge. Uh, so people have told us that it's quite flooded right now, so you actually have to swim. Typically I think you just go into like ankle deep water and you walk through it. But it looks like it's going to be pretty deep. So we've got our dry bag, uh, which hopefully will keep our cameras and this gimbal <laughs> nice and dry. <laughs> They've also told us it's uh, fresh, which uh, needs cold. So, <laughs> Santa will be warming up like a lizard after this. I'm so excited. Freshwater crocs. There's crocs inside the tunnel? Nobody told me about this. Go. 
go. So it's kind of creepy. I don't want to go swimming with crocodiles. I don't want to go swimming with crocodiles. What? Do you see a crocodile? Shallow. Oh, shallow, not a crocodile. Can you stay somewhat close? In case a croc gets me, he can carry me back. It says you have a strong swimming ability and level of fitness to swim a minimum of 20 meters of cold water in the dark. You have a waterproof torch with a minimum of one hour battery. My heart is pounding. This is too terrifying. Yeah? I don't know. I like to see light. Okay, we've made it through the first water crossing. Swimming 20 meters in the dark. I did not get eaten by a crocodile yet. <laughs> Still good, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have a 100 meter swimming in the dark. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at that though. So as you can see, there's the croc. We saw him on the way back, now on the way in. He's huge. He's not huge. He's bigger than one I would like to nibble on my feet while I'm swimming. Well, after a quick to medium ride <laughs> from uh, Tunnel Creek, uh, we are now in Bell Gorge. So originally we were gonna stay here the night uh, or just at the campsite in Silent Grove, which is 10 kilometers away. But uh, we were lucky enough to get booked into Mornington Wilderness Area, which is gonna be another 200 kilometers from here. So we're gonna try to go in quickly uh, to the Bells Falls, capture a few shots and then- Have a little swim. Have a little swim. Without the crocs. Without the crocs. <laughs> and then a rush back to the car and drive another two to three hours before sunset today. It's a busy day today, but tomorrow is a relaxing one. So Except for we're going to be driving a lot to other gorges as well there. Maybe. Maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's more like afternoon. <laughs> it has been a lazy morning here at Mornington Wilderness Camp. Obviously pulled up super late last night and just crashed. This morning we've taken it easy, did some washing, Max tinkered with our new solar panel to try and get the most sunlight power. And uh, now we're just gearing up to spend a lazy day by some water holes, go check out a couple of gorges in the area and just see what this region has to offer.
So we are all set up at camp. Uh, we arrived from Mornington, uh, checked out a few gorges along the way, and now we're off to go see what this place is known for, which is Manning Gorge, of course. So we heard this is the best place to spend a couple of hours in the afternoon, so we've packed up with some snacks and a couple of drinks, and we're heading over there now. Uh, we're here, it's a bit of a tricky way to get there, so we'll see what it's all about. Water crossing, 45 minute hike, so we're ready to go. We're finally saying goodbye to this area and moving on onto the second part of the gib. We're gonna say goodbye to you for now as well and catch you again next week for the second part of our gib adventure. This part of the gib was supposed to be relaxing, good roads, good gorges. The next part is gonna be a bit more treacherous, more difficult roads, a few river crossings, but some epic, epic adventures. So really looking forward to doing that. Catch you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when new videos come out. We try to release them weekly and we'll see you next week.